Hi, Steve Clifford from Sheehy Toyota of Fredericksburg and Stafford, Virginia. Visit them at Sheehy.com. Today we are going to talk about the drive modes, the EV mode buttons on the Prius Prime and RAV4 Prime. And today I am in a car that is owned by one of our employees and it is a RAV4 Prime. But everything that I'm going to show you is going to apply to the Prius Prime as well. What I'm talking about are these buttons here, the Auto EV, the HV EV, and the Charge Hold. So there are different ways to drive this thing. And the default setting, the way that most people really would, it makes the most sense, is to put it into the Auto mode. And you'll see up here, it says Auto EV HV. Well, that means that the car is gonna make the decisions. It's gonna default, at least in the beginning, to driving with the electric only. It's gonna be in EV mode if it can. Now, there are certain driving conditions that it can't. If you're gonna stomp the gas pedal real hard, or if you're driving uphill, if it's really hot or really cold, something like that, it's gonna go back into the HV mode, the hybrid mode, and start up the gas engine but predominantly it's going to use the, uh, the electric battery first. It's gonna bleed down this EV range. So it's gonna use that up first before it switches over to the hybrid mode. So if we hit this button though, I'm gonna show you as I hit the button, now it switches to the HV mode, hybrid vehicle mode. Now it's gonna be using the gas engine. Why would you do that? Why would you hit that button? Well, if your commute starts off at highway speed, you're probably better off when you, and yes, this thing can go up to 80 miles an hour in, in EV, but you'll burn through it pretty quickly. So you're better off switching to the HV mode. Let the gas engine help at those higher speeds. But if late in your commute, you're getting off of the interstate, you're gonna be slowing down and you're gonna be in more stop and go traffic, that's where the EV mode works better. So you can save your EV range by hitting that button. If you hit that button, it's gonna go into the hybrid mode and it's gonna hold this EV range until you take it out of that mode. And you can do that by either hitting the auto button or by hitting the button again. If you hit that again, then it goes into the all EV mode. In this mode, it really would take a lot for it to switch into the, into the HV mode. There's a reason that some people would do that. One of our employees he, who owns one of these, he lives about five miles away from work and he can charge his car every day. He puts it in the EV only mode. He puts it in that mode I just showed and he basically never puts gas in it. And I'll get to a caveat on that in a second, but it burns through the EV, all of it first, and then it'll, it'll, it will switch over to the HV mode at that point. But the whole idea is is to to prioritize EV even under heavy acceleration even going up a hill it'll use the EV so the auto mode really makes the most sense for most people most of the time specialized situations you can use this HV EV now what about the charge hold button so what that means is to put it into the charge mode, you hold that button for a few seconds. Oh, and it's not even available. <laughs> Great. Okay, but you saw it flash up there real quick. What that does, oh, and the reason is, is his uh, EV uh, battery is fully charged right now. There's no way to add any more to it. But let's say you had depleted down your your battery to the point where you only had maybe four or five miles left to go in EV. You can force the car to charge, to prioritize battery charging while you are driving. It uses the gas engine to do that. 
honestly, and I've talked to some people even at Toyota, they say that's really not a good idea. It's not the most efficient way to charge that battery. You're going to be using more gas to do that than you're saving when you switch back into the full EV mode. Um, you're better off using an electric the, the cable to plug in to a wall when you arrive at your destination. Uh, the other way is every time you hit the brakes, so if you're going down a hill, uh, the braking system on it is going to help you get more, uh, more, uh, more charge out of the batteries, and that will add to your EV drive range. That's the better way to do it. But if you want to force it to charge off of the internal combustion engine, you can do that by putting it into the charge mode. It doesn't save you any gas, though, so I, I don't really recommend doing that. Um, last thing, if you are driving this thing and you have a short trip and you're charging it every day, and you haven't started your gas engine for a while, eventually you're going to get a pop-up on your screen here that tells you to run the gas engine. It needs to do that every now and then to make sure that your gas doesn't go stale. Uh, and that everything is, is going to continue to work properly with the card. But you'll get a warning on it. It'll tell you when to do it. Uh, there's nothing you need to, to, to worry about until that pops up. I hope this answers some questions about the EV and HV and the uh, charge button. I, it's a confusing topic, but it turns out that the owner's manual actually has all of this in it. So... <laughs> um, but hopefully I've explained it in a way that makes sense and it doesn't sound like it was written by a lawyer, which I know the owner's manual does. So hope this has been helpful. If it has, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and post up any questions. If I need to do a follow-up on this, I will. Thank you for watching.